Hey everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to downsize your Figma image fills um, in order to fit the content layer that they're actually being used on. Um, so this is going to optimize your image sizes, it's going to speed up your Figma file performance um, and it's just going to save you a whole bunch of extra megabytes and uh, image sizes that uh, would otherwise be taken up unnecessarily. Um, so the first thing we need to do to get started is just go to the Figma community and search for the word tiny image. Um, we're going to be installing a plugin uh, to do this, so if you type in T I N Y I M A G E into the Figma community search, go to the plugins tab and you'll see tiny image compressor pop up. All you need to do is click on the install button on the right hand side over here uh, and then you're good to go. So I'm just going to jump back into my Figma file here. I've just taken a handful of images using the Unsplash plugin, um, so that's just a plugin that allows you to grab uh, stock images um, in directly into Figma. So you can just add them like this and these are typically very high resolution images you can see this one's 1280 by 1920 uh, which is great if you actually want those images to be at that size um, but very often you'll drag these images into your design and you'll actually end up rescaling them to be much smaller um, so for example if we scale all of these down uh, instead of being at you know 1200 or 1900 pixels uh, if we scale them all down a little bit to a smaller size Let's say in our design, we actually only need them to be, you know, three or 400 pixels wide uh, because we're designing a mobile screen or something like that. Um, the problem is it looks really good. It visually looks correct. Um, we've got these 400 pixel width images, um, but behind the scenes, the image fill that we got from Unsplash, the super large high res one, which is, you know, four or five times the resolution of this, is still actually being stored and loaded every single time uh, in Figma. So if you've got a lot of these, it can tend to slow the file down um, and you're just using up a whole bunch of space that you don't actually need. So the way we can solve this is just by right clicking anywhere, going down to plugins and clicking on tiny image compressor, the plugin that we just installed. And to solve this problem, we're gonna be using a brand new feature called Downsizer. So um, I've got another tutorial on all the other features in this plugin, um, but for today, I'm just gonna be focusing on the new feature of the Downsizer. So to get started, we just click on the Downsizer button in the header of the plugin. And this is gonna load up all of the image fills in your Figma page. Um, so you can see in mine, I've only got a few uh, layers and each of those layers only has one image fill. If you have multiple image fills, it'll load those in too. Um, and we can select them by either just unchecking the ones we don't want or you can actually filter this really quickly just by clicking on multiple layers and if they contain image fills they'll get filtered down here and that's just an easy way of filtering uh, a couple of images if you don't want to do the whole batch um, but for today I'm just going to make it really simple and do them all at once so just to explain what's going on here um, this interface basically just gives us one option. Um, we can downsize these to match two times the layer size. So what that means is if our layer is um, you know, 427 by uh, 640, but the original image is you know, five or six times that, what it's gonna do is it's gonna scale down the original image fill to be two times the size of this content layer and it's gonna proportionally shrink that down to make sure it's only a maximum of two times this. So it's gonna keep that retina 2x sharpness, but it's not going to uh, be the original image, which is just way, 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 way too big. Um, so for this case, I'm just gonna leave it at that. You can actually uncheck that, and that will downsize it to one X of the layer size. So it would downsize it to exactly match the 427 by 640 uh, proportionally. Um, but it's not going to look as sharp. So for now, I'm just going to leave it checked at 2x and I'm going to click on the downsize Figma fills button. So I'm just going to do all the images and click on downsize Figma fills at 2x. So you can see here, it's now going through and downsizing all of these six images. And we can see here what's going on. We've got the original file size. So that's the original file size from Unsplash. And then we've got the, a list of optimized file sizes. So you can see that it's gone ahead and it's rescaled all of those images. It's replaced the fills. So these are brand new fills that have been replaced uh, behind the scenes. You probably didn't notice them briefly flashing, but they were um, flashing and getting replaced. And if we zoom in, um, so we go to 100%, they're still retina sharp. They're still very, very sharp. And the reason for that is it's scaled proportionally to be exactly 
two times the size of the content layer. Um, so even if we zoom into 200%, um, still extremely sharp at 200% as well because of that 2x retina scaling. Uh, there's also a little bit of compression going on as well behind the scenes. So not only does it downscale it, it also does compress um, the images very slightly, just enough to uh, save a bit of data without being noticeable um, of quality difference. So you're really getting two sides of optimization there, the downscaling itself of the dimensions and also um, a bit of image compression going on behind the scenes too. So we can see here just from running that on these six images, uh, we've saved a total of four megabytes. Um, so you can see all the originals here. So for example, this one uh, was one and a half megabytes now down to 433 kilobytes. Um, this one we saved 80%, 80%. So at least 70% saved um, for all six of these images. Um, so you can imagine what kind of savings you'd get at a much bigger scale. So if I jump into a different file, uh, I'm just gonna use this other um, design that I installed from or duplicated from the Figma community. And I'm just gonna run the tiny image plugin on here as well. And I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. Uh, so I'm gonna click on that downsizer button um, once again, that's going to load up all of the image fills that it's found on the page. Um, so some of these might actually have multiple image fills um, behind the scenes too. Um, and if you're struggling to see what image actually relates to what part of the design, uh, you can really quickly jump to any of them as a preview just by clicking on the little image icon here. So you can see here this image relates to that fill. And I can keep jumping around if I want to preview uh, what all of these different fills relate to. That's just a quick way of doing that. Um, so again, I'm just gonna leave it at 2X. I'm gonna click on Downsize Figma Fills at 2X. And once again, it's going to um, go one by one through every single one of our image fills because I've left them all selected. Um, and you're gonna see all of the savings um, for all of these images. And in particular, you can see that these um, layers here are actually very small. Um, the size of these layers compared to the original image is, is quite different. Um, so this is 164 pixels by 164 pixels, um, but the original image behind the scenes there is much, much larger, um, as we can see by looking at the statistics over here. So this image has been downsized to be 200 kilobytes, but that's from an original file size of three megabytes. So that's a 93% saving just from that one layer alone. Um, and again, the more of these larger scale images you've got in your design um, and the more that they're actually being shrunk down, the more you're going to save. Um, and as a concrete example of that, you can see just from this one page alone, which actually isn't a super large page, that's actually relatively small. There's only you know, a handful of frames here. Um, just from this one page alone optimizing, we've saved 44 megabytes in total. And there's not even that many images on here you know, it's barely even scrolling um, further down the list. And again, we can see that we've saved minimum 90% uh, on all of these images because they're more vector-based, so they're much more um, optimizable as well. Um, so just as another example, I'm just gonna do one more landing page and I'm going to rerun the plugin by right-clicking, going down to Tiny Image Compressor again. And this time I'm just gonna show you what it looks like with the 1X option. So if I click on Downsizer and load up all the image fills, um, this time you can see that we've got some very large um, target sizes and I'm assuming the images behind the scenes are actually even bigger. Um, but this time instead of doing 2X, I'm gonna do 1X and just show you what that looks like too. So I'm gonna uncheck that, click on Downsize Figma Fills at 1X and this is gonna downsize all the image fills on the page to be one X of their, um, of their size. So you can see here, um, it's just going through and doing all those. Um, and because these are already quite large already, uh, these are fairly large frames, um, the one X option in this case uh, is probably gonna be fine uh, because the images are so big. Um, usually if you've got smaller images, you wanna keep the two X one on for sure. Uh, but sometimes if you've got a really big image um, and the image is slightly bigger than this one, but it's not 2x bigger, the original image, um, then maybe the 1x option is actually going to be better for those sorts of scenarios. Um, and you can see here they're still looking 
quite good um, even with the 1x option but typically you basically want to keep the 2x option turned on uh, anyway but again this is just showing you that you do have that option if you did want to use it so that's essentially the overview of how to downsize and optimize images in Figma on your canvas. Um, you can use the tiny image plugin downsize a function um, to do this. It's a brand new feature. And uh, I think it's going to make a huge difference to performance and a huge difference to, huge difference to file size um, in your Figma files. If you're using a whole bunch of images, it's going to mean your Figma files are going to open up faster. They're going to be smoother to zoom around in. And um, also when you're doing exports, sometimes if you've got really big images, the exports take a while to load. Um, and if they haven't loaded completely, when you do go to export a PDF or export um, certain images, sometimes you can actually catch them uh, still trying to load in the background and you'll get a low resolution image. Um, I'm not sure if you've ever come across that, but um, it actually happens more often than you would imagine, um, especially in files with lots and lots of images hundreds of megabytes worth of uh, images trying to load up in the background. Um, this can unfortunately happen, yeah, more than, more than you'd want um, in bigger files. So yeah, um, as always, thank you for watching and I hope it's helpful if you've been trying to optimize your Figma files um, for speed or performance, um, optimize your images um, and downsize those and optimize those um, in the way that we've seen in this tutorial today. So uh, yeah, we'll be back soon with more tutorials just like this one. And uh, thank you again for watching.